Joji e here. In front of me, I have the WF1000XM5 and the model number on the case here, you would see as YY2963. And today we will be replacing the batteries on both the left and the right side. And all the tools and parts, you will be able to find that in the description and in the pinned comments below. The tools you will need would be a soldering iron, uh, some solder and uh, everything that I have here. So just adhesive to seal it back up, plastic spudger, the solder wick, you may or may not need it depending on how you want to unsolder the battery. So solder wick can just help pull out that solder to make it easier to do so. And just something to hold the two halves of the earbuds together as the adhesive is curing and sealing up the device for waterproofing it. All right, we'll jump right into it. We'll go ahead and pull out both buds here. And we'll start with the right butt here. So I'll go ahead and start heating up around here, right at that connection point. And I'll be using roughly 170 degrees Celsius at a low airflow. All right, and we're gonna just add a little bit of heat right there just to soften up some of that adhesive to let the ribbon come up a little easier. I'll go ahead and close this in just so that we don't get heat onto the speaker there. I'm going to get a helping hand here. All right, now I'm going to go pull out some of the solder with the solder wick here and the soldering iron. Looks like we have a little bit left there. Now, if you did want to make this process easier, you could have heated up this touchpad here and pull this board open, and then that will give you some more room here for you to be able to work with the battery. We'll go ahead and set this to the side. Now we'll do the same thing for the left side. We'll go ahead and start with heating it up and opening it up with the plastic spudger. And uh, once the glue softens enough, you should be able to open it up just with your hands like so, as well with the plastic spudger. And we'll also remove the battery. All right, we'll heat it up some more. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this housing. It's holding the battery in place. And just so you'll have for reference, with the speaker pointed up and with the battery open, the side of the battery that's pointed up here with the negative terminal at the top be with all the battery information here, as we can see over here, be like so. So when installing the battery, make sure you do not put it in opposite, keep it straight up. And we'll do the same with this one here. We're going to go ahead and pull out all that solder. Again, if you do want to make it easier for yourself, you could heat up that backboard and pull it up. There's our second battery. So here are the replacement batteries. And I'll go ahead and just remove that back sensor there just to show you how it will be easier for you to then unsolder and solder in the battery. So we'll go ahead and just heat it up a little bit. Just 
a little bit more heat there to soften up the adhesive. All right, and I'll use a flat head just so I can get to the corner there. And just a little bit of pressure, constant. You don't want to give too much pressure. You don't want to actually break that board, but just enough to start getting it up like so. And I'll walk here this side. There we go. And we'll go over here and pull out this housing here that holds this. So ideally, it'll be like so. so. I'll demonstrate this for you on the left side here. So again, we'll just add some heat. Now, what you would want to do is, as you can see, there's a plastic shell here that's connected to. Go ahead behind the plastic shell. Just give a little bit of pressure. There we go. And you will have the shell here left over, and it should look like so. And you will have access to your battery right here. So depending on how you want to unsolder that battery, you can go ahead and do that. But we'll go ahead and clean up that solder point. Again, you could just uh, solder the battery right in, but we're gonna go ahead and clean this up first. Again, this is where helping hands can help you, where nothing will be moving around. So if you don't remember where we were, the negative goes towards the speaker. So when installing, you want the negative side on the top here, and we will just Go ahead, put it like so, and we'll add some solder to that right there. So again, negative goes towards the speaker for when it's folded in like so. And I'll just add a little bit of flux and I'll borrow a helping hand. We can go ahead and put on our battery housing here. So we'll just fit around like so. Go ahead and clean the battery connection. All right. We'll move on to the right side now. So same way as the left side. Go ahead and clean up the connection here. Yeah, we can put the housing around the battery. All right, all that's left now is to clean up the housing here on both sides, and then we will apply our adhesive and seal up the device for it to cure. So we'll just give it some heat to soften up the adhesive. Hey, this is Joe from the Sauna. If this video brought you value, please support us by buying parts, tools, refurbished electronics, or sending your device in for repairs so we can keep offering you free repair tutorials. Back to the video. All right, so for the left side, we'll go ahead and set down this housing with the battery inside to make sure that the microphone sits over its microphone slot there. We will go ahead and grab our adhesive. We'll go along the housing. Just combine the two halves, clean up some of that excess adhesive that came out. This is where a rubber band or a clamp will come in and you will go ahead and have some pressure for the both halves and let the adhesive cure. It being fully cured will take about 24 hours, but it's pretty much set in about six hours. 
All right, so that's our left side complete here. We'll do the same thing for the right side. So you can also apply the adhesive before putting the shell in. There we go. So we have a nice bead that goes along the whole edge here where the previous adhesive was sitting. Similar to the left side, we'll go ahead and put in our shell and make sure that you line up that microphone with the cutout there for it. Once we already applied the adhesive in, just go ahead and clamp it. All right, so no excess of adhesive is coming down as uh, we're able to put that adhesive closer, uh, further down in. Grab your rubber band or anything to clamp down the buds. And that's the right side done. So that's how you would replace the batteries, both the left and right side, on a Sony WF-1000XM5. And again, you can find all the parts and tools in the description and look out for an article, a written article on this repair below. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.